Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cheats. Today, we're making pinchos. Let's get it. First, we're going to take some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Then we're going to come up into about two inch pieces. After cutting the chicken up, you're going to add that to a bowl. So these are about two inch pieces. And also I was trimming the fat as I went along, you know, at least some of the fat. And to the bowl, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, adobo, some cumin, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. For a little bit of kick, we're gonna add some cayenne red pepper. We're gonna add a couple packets of sason seasoning. And last but not least, we're gonna add some sofrito. If you can get this brand, this is the one to get, according to my Puerto Rican friends. And then you're gonna massage everything together. Make sure everything is nice and well coated. And after you've made sure everything is nice and well covered in the sauce, we're gonna cover it and leave it in the fridge up to overnight or for at least four hours. At the same time while you're waiting for your chicken, you're gonna take a flat sheet pan. And if you have bamboo skewers, this is what you wanna do it for. If you have metal skewers, you don't have to worry about this, but if you have bamboo slash wooden skewers, you're gonna place them in the sheet pan and you're gonna to wanna to submerge them in water because we're gonna be cooking and you're gonna let these sit overnight as well. See you tomorrow. Before we start grilling the pinchos, we're gonna cut up some bread. This is um, pan sabao bread. It's a sweet bread from Puerto Rico. You normally use this with the pinchos. It's normally like a little side dish. You're gonna cut it about an inch thick and we're gonna also grill this as well. Look at the blade, it's so fluffy. One more thing, I almost forgot to skewer my meat. Can't grow nothing without it being skewered. So you're gonna take each meat and skewer it. You want about two to three inches off the bottom, you know, where you can hold it. And you just skewer everything on. And you wanna leave a little space at the end. And we're gonna do a couple more. Once you're done skewing, it should look something like this. And now we go back to grilling. All right, so your times may vary depending on how much charcoal and how much meat you have on there. But a good way to check is to use the thermometer. You wanna cook it to about 165. So it's looking like we still got a couple more minutes in here. Sorry for about the dogs in the background. My neighbor's dogs are out and about. Once your chicken is just about done, you're gonna coat it with a barbecue sauce of your choice. I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet Valadia onion? I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, you saw it. Anyways. After covering it with barbecue sauce, you're gonna let it set for about a minute or two and then you'll flip it over and apply the glaze again. So you're gonna let the sauce set up for about a couple minutes and then you're gonna flip it over and apply the sauce on the other side as well. And after you're done glazing it, you're gonna finish cooking up the other pinchos that you have or the other chicken on the stick that you have and then after that we're done with the chicken all right next you're gonna want to grill those pieces of bread from earlier you just want to heat them up a little bit and get the charcoal grill marks on there you can do this either before or after you grill your meat um, if you do it after just make sure you clean your grill so you don't get that uh, residual barbecue sauce on there so you want it to get a little toasted kind of like that 
once you get that you're good for the next part of the dish we're going to make tostones which you it's like a fried plantain thing um you're gonna see when we make it but first you start with green bananas i'm gonna chop the ends off and you're gonna cut it about two inches thick Over medium high heat, we're gonna add some canola oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, we're gonna add our platanos and let them fry. After about two minutes, you're gonna flip it over to the other side. You want it to get that golden color right there. We're gonna flip it over. After two minutes on the other side, you're gonna take them off the oil. In Puerto Rico, they have this thing called like a tostino press and where you can use a device that's kind of like a flat iron thing, but we don't got that, but you can use a pan. So you kind of want to support it and then you just want to smash it down. You smash it flat, just like that. After smashing it down, you're going to take the flatten down and put them back in the fryer again to fry. You want to be careful not to overcrowd the pan as well. After about two minutes, you're going to flip it over and let it finish on the other side. After a few minutes, it should be done. Should look something like that. I don't know if you can see. You know, I'm gonna put it in a pan. I'm well, not a pan, this is a bowl. We're gonna add our new ones to it. Once you're done with both batches, take the next one off the oil. And as soon as you take them off, hit them with a little sprinkle of salt and some garlic powder. And with that, we're done. Now it's time to eat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's lunch time. Look at that beauty. Hooey. And that right there is most definitely Cheeto Delicious. If you like the video, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. Until next time, YouTube, peace.